Zhang Jie. Hmm? Ta Sheng Shi? What is it? Eh? Zhang Kui inside? Zhang Kui? He left early this morning. What do you want with him? Oh, recently he asked me to make him up some medicine. Some medicine? But there's nothing wrong with him. He doesn't need medicine. Now, Zhang Jie, don't tell anybody, but I know you'll keep a secret. The medicine is for his horse. It's for his horse? Yeah, if you feed it to a horse, it'll run like blazes. I've been testing it out for a year now. It really works. But that's resorting to tricks. It makes it so unfair. Hey, Chang Ti, better not breathe a word of this to a soul. I promised him I would tell nobody. Ta Shang Si, you needn't be so afraid of him. Uh. Hey, hey. Hmm. <laughs> Master. Oh. How is everything going? Almost ready. Oh. Dad, do you think even more people are going to come this year? Hmm. When have I ever been wrong before? The race is held once every five years. The winner gets 500 gold tails. You'll see soon enough. They'll come. They can't afford to miss this race. <laughs> Will brother come? Is he going to race? Hmm. Of course he'll come. But he's no chance. Apal. A miss. Want a room, mister? Best hotel in town. Nice clean room. Excellent service. Meals included. And all the wine. Just 50 cents a day. Hmm. What's that? Too expensive? Lady, don't care much for food. Just eat rice. But my horse here needs care. <laughs> don't worry, mister. A full bed of straw. All the oats he can eat. I assume you've come for the race. Your horse will be in capable hands. All right. <laughs> Mister, where are you from? Far away. Oh, ah, oh, come this way. Are you deaf? I didn't hear you. Tell me, that horse outside, the striking chestnut, where's it from? A guest just came in. A guest? Never seen him before? Why ask all these questions? You never showed interest before. Don't you realize that that's a racehorse? And what a racehorse? Do you know that? I don't know. I didn't think you'd know. A racehorse is kept solely for racing. You understand now? Why do you have to tell me all this? <sighs> You're impossible to talk sense to. You don't think, do you? So tell me, which room's he in? Hmm. Ask our pal. He took him upstairs. Anything else? Chang Chi, don't be so antagonistic towards me. I'm your brother. If you keep that surly attitude, I'll take a belt to you. I'm Xiao Shang Kui. My father owns this hotel. May I ask who you are? It's a cause. Name's Han Chang. Sit down. Hmm. What can I do for you? Oh, Mr. Hank, I was taking a look at your horse. What do you think? It's great. A fine animal. This is horse breeding country around here, but never have I seen one like yours. Huh. From the way you talk, you sound like a bloodstock expert. <laughs> Thank you, mister. I do like horses. Actually, I've been around horses for more than ten years. I still don't know what goes on in their minds. Sometimes, I think horses behave just like women. Sometimes they're gentle, and other times as bad as a tiger. If they're in a good mood, they'll run like hell. If they're in a bad mood, they won't move an inch. 
You see... Mister, you know something about them. Must say I'm very happy to have run into you like this. I love talking horses. Come on, let me buy you a drink. Blah me. No, no, you're the stranger. I should buy you a drink. No. You run the business here. If you always buy guest drinks, you'll never make any money. I insist. Thank you very much. After you. Uh, mister, here, here are some peanuts for you. All right. Well, would you like me to get you some more wine, huh? <laughs> a bow. Uh, mister. Young master. Huh? What would you like? A bow. Bring some wine. Tell the cook to make some sweetmeats. Quickly. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Sure, sir. <laughs> mister, there's someone I'm looking for. Who is it? He's about 30 years old. Not very tall. Big head, round face. He's a natural horseman and an expert throwing the knife. Oh, I think I know the guy. You do? First, I have to ask you, is he a friend of yours? No, we got a Scotta saddle. There you go. Then I can tell you straight, mister, I don't like the guy. Oh? What did he do to you? Well, a year ago, he won the race by flagrantly cheating. Mister, you reckon he'll come this year, too? He'll come for sure. It was only a small race last year, you see, and he won it so easily. This year's is bigger. He won't want to miss it. That's good to know. Well, you keep an eye out, Tommy, as soon as he comes into town. Mister, what do you want? I don't want him around. want to make sure he doesn't enter. <laughs> Mister, he's not going to be that easy to deal with, you know. He's an expert with a knife, and I hear he's pretty good at going food, too. So, you... Yeah. Huh. Mister, you don't think I'm up to it? Well, if you can get hold of that chopstick, I won't fight him. Gung Fu's even better than him. Time you try a trick like that, check who the owner is. Mister, can I come in? Please. Sit down. Please. Thank you. Mister, it seems you get along well with my brother. Your brother's a fine fellow. Straightforward. <laughs> I know very well what he's like. I know him well. And he can be just as tricky, too. I don't really want to criticize my own brother. But I wouldn't trust him too much. Otherwise, if you do get hurt, don't blame me. <laughs> Lady, I'm going to heed your advice. I'll watch out for him. I'll keep him at arm's length. <laughs> Thank you very much. But there is one thing you may be disappointed in. What's that? If the person you're looking for does come to this place, I won't be giving him a room to stay here. Why not? Because I don't want to have any trouble. That's the hotel's reputation. Ta <laughs> Shang-Chi, huh? give me some medicine, will you? All right. Same stuff? Not this time. Huh? I want a purgative, so the horse will come down with diarrhea. What do you need that for? Don't ask. Just do as I tell you. Chang Kui, I refuse to make that drug up. Just do as I say. I'll need it. I'll be back later. Hey, hey! Uh, hey, mister, please come in.
Permission. You have any room? Yes, we do. I think I could see one. Yes, please. Please come in. Uh, mister, uh, this way. Uh, mister, what you mean? Oh, my name's Ting. Perhaps you could tell me what your name is, miss. I'm Shang-Chi. You can call me that. Oh, <laughs> Miss Shang-Chi. Uh, nice to meet you. You needn't call me mister. I'm only a servant. You just call me Ting Fu. Uh, it doesn't matter. Mr. Ting, who's that man? He's my young master. The son of Ting Yu Chun, the chief of Ting Village. Everyone knows him. He's a very famous man. Oh, so he's Mr. Ting. Hmm. So why have you come so far? It's a long journey. For the horse races. My young master loves horse racing. <laughs> uh, Mr. Ting, who's that lady over there? Who is she? Oh, the lady is Miss Chi. She's my young master's fiance. Who hey, missed you? Please, this way. Hey, please. Zhang Chi, so many people. Are they all here for the race? <sighs> Brother, what do you think is more important? Running the hotel is a good business or the races? What's the matter with you? Why are you so angry? That depends on you, but I'm warning you. You better stay away from Hang. What's up now? Have I been giving him trouble? I can tell from the way you look. I know what's on your mind. Chanchi, don't tell me what to do. Any more weapon, I'll belt you. Coming, coming, mister. Do you want a room? Uh, any rooms left? Yes, we do. Where are you from, mister? Huh? <laughs> Far away. But you've got no horse. Did you walk here? <laughs> you must be joking, miss. Uh, how could I walk here? The horse lost a shoe on the way. So I got a lift with a caravan. And so here I am at last. <laughs> <laughs> how long will you stay? I've come for the races. I'll be here about 10 days to a fortnight. Excuse me, sir, but will you pay a deposit? Mm -hmm. Oh, of course, of course. Here. Here's $10. That enough? All right. What is your name, mister? Oh, my name? Zhu Sher. But you can call me Sher. It's up to you. Apao, uh, show Mr. Lu up. Yes. Uh, this way, Mr. Uh, yeah. I'll do. Uh -huh. <laughs> What's wrong? You in pain? Uh, yes, Mr. <laughs> what a pleasant coincidence. Sit down. Uh, this uh, uh, don't laugh at me. Uh, maybe I should be leaving. Go to. Don't jump to conclusions. We have no quarrel. Come on. Sit down and drink. Uh, uh, yes, uh, sure. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, mister, you want a room, huh? Waiter, I want the cheapest food in the cheapest room you've got. How much is it a day? Ah. <laughs> well, with meals and no wine, the cheapest works out at about 15 cents a day. <laughs> Waiter, do you need anyone to give you a hand? Huh? <laughs> oh, well. Hmm. <laughs> you must have traveled far if you're looking for a job. Not that at all. I came here for the horse race. The race? Where's your horse? Not got one yet. <laughs> You're not got a horse. You can't enter the race. Mm. You see, I heard that horses here are much, much cheaper. I'd have had to feed it if I'd brought along a horse with me. Anyway, I'm low on cash, so I need some work for some money. Do you have a job here? All right. You get a horse. If you win the race, you'll have lots of money. But if you should lose, then you can work here for a year, paying it off. What do you think? You're too kind of me. Miss, thanks a lot. Don't mention it. 
Either way, you'll have to pay. What's your name? My name? Lin Yu Fang. At least that's my name. My family call me Xiao Fang. Ah, Pao, hmm? show him up to his room. After eating, show him to the horse market. Yeah. Uh, this way, please. Uh -huh. $27. So how come you bought such a lousy horse? Oh, mistress, that guy wouldn't listen to me. He insisted on buying that old nag. But how can he race on that horse? If it kills him, we'll end up paying his funeral. You're a fool. You can't even do a simple errand. How about... Ah! Uh, uh... Do you know who that guy is? Huh? He looks like a fool. Who gives a damn about him? You've been up north. Have you ever heard of Lin Village? Mr. Lin, the chief of the village? I know him. Why mention him? Lin Kuei has got two sons. The first Yu Wei was killed last year in unknown circumstances. I went to his funeral myself. He's the second son, Lin Yu Fang. Well, the guy looks like a fool. And he's dirt poor. He couldn't be a son of Lin. This time, I'm afraid you made a mistake. <laughs> but I've been keeping a close eye on the fella. When he came in here, he carried a small bag. Perhaps you should see what's inside. Sure. You know very well that that's what I do best. Don't worry. <laughs> Call to. Huh? Whatever you find, leave as is. Sure. Bloody clothes. Kind of clothes. Just a man's bloody clothes. Blood everywhere. Already dry. Mr. Han, didn't you say nobody knew how his brother had died? Maybe... Go to. Don't tell us all. Huh. I won't breathe a word. what the crazy horse has done to you. Why didn't you pick a better one? It's all right, Chang-Chi. The horse hasn't been trained yet. That's so. It's still sound. Huh? Chang-Chi! Oh? You bastard. You got no money and you're chasing after my sister? Brother, are you mad? What do you mean? Young master, this is all a mistake. Mistake? I saw it with my own eyes. Don't deny it. <laughs> 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 For no good reason? Dad, this bastard tried Shut it up. up. You're the bastard. Now you're to apologize to him. You see, he did hurt you after all. Never mind. Uh, uh, Mr. Chang Kui is a bit headstrong. Uh, I hope you'll forgive him. Forgive him this time. Uh, Mister, it was my fault. You mustn't blame him. Uh, he shouldn't have attacked you. I'm going to talk to him. Huh?
Yu Chun. Hmm? That guy can sit on a horse well. I've seen you watching him. Do you want to learn from him? <laughs> anyway, I wasn't watching his horsemanship. Then what were you looking at? I was looking at his spirit. He just never gives up, does he? Oh. My father wonders why you're only a playboy. But I know different. You can work hard if you want to. Miss! 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 It's terrible. You better come back to see. What's what? happened? Someone's broken into a jewel case. I don't know how much has been stolen. You'll have to come back and check. Oh. What's missing? A pearl necklace has been stolen. Father brought it back from Japan. It's worth 20,000. Mr. King! Huh? Mr. King! Mr. King, Mr. King, what's happened here? Please come in. The mistress says necklace is gone. Uh -huh. You see? Uh, brother, he must be the guy. Hey, but if we don't have any proof, we could see anyone. Oh. Anyone in mind in particular? Mr. Ting, it's not that easy. One of your customers here is a notorious thief. But without any proof, we can't very well say it's him. Hmm, right. We must get proof. See if you can't find some piece of evidence. But I don't want him to be put on the alert, so go easy. Oh, has he met you before? He doesn't know us. Good. That's much better. Then go ahead. Hmm. Huh. Before we came here for the horse race, I told you to keep that mouth of yours shut. But you like to show off. When are you going to learn to keep that mouth of yours shut for a change? What the hell's the matter with you? Hey, it's a guy. Hey, what do you know? You think your kung fu's that good? Then why do we get small pay, working as bodyguards? Master knows your big mouth, so he didn't tell you. But now I figure I'll have to tell you. The reason we've come to town is for a job. We're only using this work as cover. Why didn't you tell me that? I've been feeling real miserable. Uh, if I'd have told you, hmm, you'd have told everybody already. Uh, I promise I'll keep my mouth shut. Now, you remember what I told you. Act like a bodyguard. Do your duty at all times. Uh, mister, I'm sorry, we were ready for love. You'll have to go someplace else. What's the matter with you? Don't you recognize me? I stayed here for two weeks a year ago. Give me a room. I'm an old customer, huh? Oh, old customer? Then you are... I am Chai. You remember? I am Chai Fei. Ah, Mr. Chai. Oh, I remember now. Last year's horse race, you won two cups. What now? Are you back again for more? Certainly. I won last year. Why not this year? A pal? Huh? Prepare a room for Mr. Chai. Yes. Mr. Chai, why don't you sit down here? Have some tea. Thank you. Morning, mister. <laughs> mister, this way, please. He's here. Who's here? Who do you think? Chape just arrived, all on his own. He's all on his own? That's impossible. The rest will be coming later. Oh, they'll wait till dark. We better be careful. Which room's he in? Oh. The please. The last one on the left. You just better calm down and do what I tell you. My brother, don't worry. I will. I'll listen to you. Mm -hmm. Hey. Coco Chen, did you receive the letter I sent you by special courier? Yes, I did. The job I gave you, how's it going? No problem. Got ten of the best Mongolians. Their riding skills, knives, wrestling, 
It's all excellent. I'm quite confident. What's the price? Ten gold tails each. And then we will work. That's 120 tails in all. That's right. And I want the lot before the job's completed. Fine. Coco Chin, after I paid them, can I use the fighters for my own work? Yeah, sure. Fine. But it won't be tonight. Maybe tomorrow night. I'll pay you. Mm, I'll be there waiting. What do you want? Coco Chin. You seem to speak excellent Chinese. Who are you? What do you want? Coco Chen. Why are you so aggressive? No need for you to be so rude. You shut up. Ha! Stop me. What the hell do you want? Coco Chen. I've got a deal to discuss with you. I'm sorry. You got the wrong man. I'm not a businessman. <laughs> but you like to talk business and negotiate deals. Look, I'm prepared to offer you 200 tails of gold. It will still work for him. Though, in fact, you'll work for me. I don't get it. Why should you trust me, huh? Because your life is worth much more than 200. Oh. I guess I'll have to agree with what you want. That's an offer I can't refuse. <laughs> so it's a deal. Fine. Uh, mister, why do you want to stop me? Why do I stop you, Goldtooth? I think you've got a very good idea. Where's the pearl necklace? The pearl? <laughs> what pearls? I don't have any pearls. In that case, you make life difficult. <laughs> you bastard. Your kung fu isn't bad. I can only jump from place to place. So don't get angry, my friend. My friend, tell me about the pearls. Maybe there's something I can do for you. It is Miss Chi's pearls necklace. Know what I'm talking about? Oh, Miss Chi. Oh, Mr. Ting's fiance. That's right. Give me. <laughs> Mister, what the hell are you doing? Can't we talk? There's no need for force. But why ask me about the pearls? What am I supposed to know, huh? Why should I? Because you're a thief. How do you say I'm a thief? Why not try to frame me? Who's framing you? Everyone knows that you're a notorious thief. Uh, thank you, thank you. But if you could catch me, I wouldn't be so famous. Sorry I can't help you. Go to. I don't have time to play any more games. Give it to me. Ah! Don't keep saying that, or you'll make me angry. Do you have any proof? You gotta have some evidence. Be reasonable. Huh. Go to. It's your lucky day today. If I get some evidence, I'll come and find you. <laughs> Close the door. Mm -hmm. 
Are you surprised? Mm -hmm. I am. <coughs> Miss G, if you need another bodyguard, I'll do it. I don't like loose ends. You will have to make a choice. Fine. Tell me what your plan is. Once I tell you that, what's to prevent you from telling my enemies? Never mind. When I don't have any options, I go my own way. Fine, Lord Helang. <laughs> you know how many there are here who think along exactly the same line? He should be satisfied. Fine. Tomorrow morning, see you on the plane. <laughs> liable man. From what I hear, Lord Halang will arrive this afternoon. Uh, I heard that too. How many he'll bring along with him? Five wagons, a dozen horses, as good as an army. Miss Chi, the only thing, too, is not enough. That's that important, because I heard Halang particularly likes young girls. <laughs> no wonder you're confident. After all, you're a real beauty. So it's up to you how much he depends on you. <laughs> you sure know how to flatter a young girl. Go out for practice gallop today, huh? Forget it. If I carry on, every bone I have will be broken. Oh. <laughs> if that's the case, are you going to give up entering for the big race? Give up? I refuse. But I want to take things easy now. Oh. <laughs> Transport is worse here. Who are you? Oh, my name is Lin Shea. Just call me that. <laughs> nice to meet you. Your name rings a bell. It reminds me of somebody. Who? Lushik Lang, the notorious thief and burglar. Oh? Brother Lin, can you give me a hand keeping an eye on him? Why do you want it? I've got a job to do. I can't do it alone. But if I have his help, I'm sure I'm going to succeed. Oh. Well, what is it? Excuse me. I'm not to tell anybody about it. Hey, my friend, I know the guy you mean. But you'll have to tell me. What do you want him to do? To get rid of my enemy. Huh? Kill a man? Kind of extreme, ain't it? It's the only way. He's got to go. I need him out of the way. He must be eliminated. It's not easy. Oh. I think you better tell me who it is. Chai Fei. Oh. Chai Fei? So what? You afraid of him? Is that true? Is he your enemy? What's he done to you? He killed my brother. No wonder you're back at all those bloody clothes. <laughs> bloody clothes? Why didn't you tell me? You'd search through my bag. Lin Sha Lang, now I finally found you. There's a lot of business to discuss. Good. Li doesn't always pay. Don't forget, you're poor, you might be tempted. I was too poor for a good horse. But this one job will be sweet. I like it. Mister, I'll make you a fair offer. A hundred tails of gold, okay? It's fair. Hmm. Come here tonight. Lucia Lang, you're too busy these days. We have no time for idle gossip. <laughs> Mister. You're going to be kidding. I'm free. Go ahead. Lucia Lang, I told you I'd pay you. So now, <coughs> I've brought the money. What is that? <laughs> Mister, I have a bad memory. You remind me. Huh. Never mind. But if you keep pretending, 
I'll tell who you are. Never mind. You can tell. They know I'm a thief. If I do, it'll put a stop to what plans you have for a big job. Oh, so you finally get around to the point. I'm not the boss. I'm just an errand boy. If you get in my way, somebody will come and stop you. Who is your boss, then? If you want trouble for yourself, then I'll tell you. If I was scared of trouble, I'd have stayed behind at home. Fine. A boss is Hang Tang. You don't scare me with Hang Tang. <laughs> Mister, I told you all I know. Now it's up to you. You want to make trouble for us? You'll be in danger. I think you better stay away from us. You listen to me. If I'm afraid, I wouldn't have come here. Lucia Lang, you should reconsider it. You help me, I'll help you. So we'll both benefit. Sarah's got a letter. I don't care how you do it, but get that letter. Miss G, if he has a letter, why didn't I know? He must have the letter somewhere. I need it tomorrow. All right. I'll do. Huh? I hear you have a secret letter. Who says so? Don't ask me questions. You got it? That's right, I do. Yeah. Has that letter got anything to do with this job? Maybe, maybe not. Since we're partners in this, we shouldn't keep secrets from each other. Unless you want to betray me. Huh? Don't come to high and mighty with me. I'm not. Hang time. Listen carefully. I'll say it once. Out. One thing. Don't you want that letter from Goldtooth? Oh, you see, I got a bad memory. Without your reminder, I've forgotten. If anyone else had come, I'd be gone for sure. A letter. He just said softly, but he was hitting Mr. Hart. I was scared he might really kill me. You shouldn't blame him. Chi Hang Man isn't such a fool. She knows the game well. We can't try to deceive her so easy. I can assure you. So what? See this? This is your genuine kung fu. Can you do better than that? <laughs> Fine. Real kung fu. Real kung fu. This time Chi Hang Man will be fooled by us. Go to. What do you think now? How much chance do we have? Mm, ten to one. 
That's no damn good. Ah, uh, what's the point in even thinking about the risks involved? Everybody here is up to some devilish scheme or other. A mistake, and they're done for. Uh, what do you think we'll do next, huh? Mm, go back to the hotel and sleep. Forget everything. In three mm. days' time, <laughs> we will all be wealthy men. <laughs> <laughs> Mistress, our lad will attend to you himself. Ah. Your lord will attend to me himself. I must say I'm honored. You're welcome. Our lad likes to have guests. the letter. And me, where'd you get the letter from? I got the letter from Lynn Sure. What do you make of it? This is a clever ruse to conceal a more dangerous plot. Who's the man waiting outside? Han Tang. He's a fighter. I've used him often before. He's reliable. Oh. Does he know of our relationship? No idea. I told him you like girls. Perhaps I could get him to meet you. resting inside. Come back for her in the afternoon. Here. A present from the Lord. Right along. Yeah. Nobody around. We can talk here without being overheard. Sure. I heard about your brother. You mean you know my brother was murdered? Well, world's a small place. No secret lasts for long. Mister, is that the only reason you suddenly turned up here? Yes. Any proof? Yes. What is it? You're here to get information for Chai Fei. Uh, you're jumping to conclusions. I never met the man. Then why are you asking me all these questions? Hey, if Chai Fei's really the killer, I must be careful of him myself. But you can see it clearly in his face. He looks evil. He's a dangerous man. You better stay clear of him. I'm sorry, but there's a reason why I have to stay with him. So I can't take your advice, I'm afraid. You mean to say you're against me? To tell you the truth, I've no wish to make an enemy of you. But for the next three days, don't go near him. Hang Tang, you have no right to ask me that kind of favor. Master, no need for you to take that attitude with me. I'm bent on getting revenge. Nothing's going to stop me. Mister, no point continuing this conversation. Goodbye. <laughs> this guy insisted in saying I'd murdered his brother. Well, didn't you? How can you say that to me? I don't even know the man. <laughs> he says he's got certain proof. Forget it. I didn't do it, all right? Well, you can't ignore him. It'd still cause a lot of trouble. Tell me, what should I do? Go and talk to him. 
He won't believe me. Do I have to go on my knees to him? It's your faith. Why don't we try being reasonable? If he changes his mind, that's good. Otherwise, why don't we kill him, get rid of him? Couldn't do that. Why not? You scared? Why should I be? If I didn't kill his brother, he's no proof. Accusation's groundless. Huh? But you said the guy's intent on giving trouble. Maybe he's up to something else. Yeah. You're right. I haven't had time to check out his background yet, but his kung fu is good. He isn't such a fool. If he intends giving us trouble, I'll let him see my knife. All right, forget it. First of all, you're scared. Now you're talking big. No, no what? Hey, hey, hey. Here. Mistress, something's happened. A pal, what the hell is wrong with you? The, the lady upstairs has vanished. Oh? She didn't come down here. M M Mistress, I tell you. A pal. Uh, 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 coming. Uh, mister, what do you want? A pal, what has happened? Uh, uh, mister, something is very wrong. Huh? A, a, a woman guest has just vanished. Huh? Maybe she's been kidnapped. Uh, no, I shouldn't think so. She would have screamed out. Somebody would have heard her. She couldn't be kidnapped. Without one of us finding out, does it make sense? Ah, uh, but Miss Chi has just vanished, and you can't dispute that. Huh. Yeah, it's strange. Ah, uh, but listen. Oh, Mr. Ting, morning. Mr. Ting, I have just found out something that is very strange. Oh? What is it? Ha. Miss Chi has vanished, but you don't seem the least bit worried. <laughs> she said she was going out for a short ride, so why should I be worried? Oh, she left without telling you? You don't find that strange? She's always been like that. I've learned not to worry. Oh. Take your word. But your behavior does still seem strange. <laughs> Mr. Ting, if you do have a secret, why can't you tell me all about it? That's not a very smart thing to suggest. If it is a secret, why should I tell you anything? It's a secret. Ah. Uh. My lord. I will pay you 50000 in cash. The remainder I will give you in check of the Typhoon Bank. Typhoon Bank? Okay. My lord, I do have one more request to make. And may, what is it you want me to do for you now? Just tell me. At the hotel, there are a few men who've all come for the same reason. They don't want to spend. They just want to steal and then get out fast. What do you want me to do about it? I reckon the best thing is to kill the whole lot of them. <laughs> I draw the line at so much blood, I don't like killing. If so, just keep them prisoner for the next three days. And to tell me their names? Chai Fei, Lin Chir, and a man called Lin Yu Fang. Fine. I'll send my men out to catch them and lock them up. Thank you, my lord. I toast your wisdom. Lynchia, I've got something to tell you. What is it? Everyone coming to the races this year seems so suspicious. I think you'd better leave here. Don't come back till after the races. But I came here to look for the man who murdered my brother. Now I'm on the trail. I'm not leaving. If you already know that man is, why don't you take your revenge on him? He's too good at Kung Fu. And he's an expert with the knife. I don't stand a chance against him. Who's he? Chai Fei. You can ambush him. I'll lead him right past you. Then you can kill him. Fine. Uh, mister, let's get down. 
All right. Tell me, mistress, why are we stopping at this spot? For a talk. Oh? Well, it's a good place for a talk. Here, sit down. Come on. <laughs> Mistress, stay away. Chai Fei, you killed my brother. Now you're gonna pay for it. You got it wrong. I didn't kill your brother. It's a mistake. Huh? The girl can ride a horse. Mister, let him go. I'm afraid the girl took us all in. Oh? Yeah. Sister. Hey, mistress, fall asleep. But this is urgent. Oh. Sister? Mm -hmm. Sister. Yes. Yes. Chen Chi, why have you come here? Is someone after you? You didn't worry. I took all those fools in. Huh. Who do you mean? Chai Fei. Hang Tang and Lin Yu Fang. Hmm. You're a much smarter girl than I thought. <laughs> I follow you. You give the orders. But Lin hasn't come here for the reason he gave you. You must leave him. What's that? They really love him. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. I won't go after him. But I've one more thing for you to do for me. Mister, who are all these people here? I Mister, don't know. Why are you giving us a helping hand? In this world, we should help each other. You're right. Oh, 
You, Mr. Hantang? Right. Lord Halang would like to see you. Wants to have a talk with you. All right. All right. We'll cooperate with you, my lord. Hmm. Good. And I swear I won't treat you badly when it's over. I'll detail my guard to escort you to Wu Chan. I'll take 60% of your goods, and you can keep 40. You're very kind to us. We got no objection. But about Chi Ma Yun? You needn't worry. I'm cooperating with you to get rid of her. I'm not a cruel man. But if she doesn't go, we won't be able to pull this job off. All right. We'll move out tomorrow. Meet at Piling Temple. You'll have a tin guard escort. As far as Wu Cha, who's the leader of our escort. I'd like to meet him before we go. No need. With this seal, they'll follow your orders to the letter. Right. Any more instructions, Malone? <laughs> See you at Wu Chan. Mistress, it's you. <laughs> Mister, you're up very late. What's the matter? <laughs> Couldn't you sleep? I must say, we have some strange guests here. Where's than usual? I don't think there's a single one who is normal. Huh? Oh, what do you mean, they're not normal? They'll pay their bills, don't they? No one is giving you trouble. So who are you talking about? Go and tell me. <laughs> What's wrong, Mister? How do I know that you don't know? Why must we play that silly game? There are no more secrets. In that case, how much do you know? To tell you the truth, I know a damn sight more than you do. I'll tell you the truth. It won't help you. For all you think you know, you're as good as dead. <laughs> are you trying to scare me? Surely you don't mean it. <laughs> you would understand if I told you the truth. So what? Someone really does want to kill me. That's right. <laughs> Who would have guessed that you know Gung Fu as well? <laughs> well, mister, why don't we talk this over? There's no need for force, and my father is under there. If you should see us fighting, you would be in big trouble. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, this is dangerous country. If a girl uses a knife, and I assure you I'll use it. So don't you do anything stupid, or you might just make me nervous. And I wouldn't want to hurt you. Uh, 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 all right, all right. Don't make a big deal of it. <laughs> <laughs> Mister, could you speak louder? I can't hear you. Uh, 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 mistress, uh, don't try to torture me to talk. Uh, what do you want? Uh, just go ahead and ask me. Goldtooth, when will the jewelry be delivered? Uh, 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 tomorrow. I need to know the exact time of day. Now you better tell me. Uh, uh, six o'clock in the morning. Where is it to take place? Uh, the temple. Anyone here? May I ask your name? Ante. Master. Below its orders. I'm to hand over the jewelry here. Then my job's over. But, 
I uh, want to examine him first. All right. Please. Where is the escort? It's on its way. All right, let's go. Mister, I got something to tell you about. What is it, Caldo? The manager is back at the hotel. She forced me to tell her the time and place of the delivery, but I don't know why they haven't made a move. Do you think she might be planning to rob us? Huh? Didn't you say there was somebody behind her? Goldtooth, when we decided to do this job, we were prepared for anything. Or anyone. If they come, we'll be tied them. Well, that's something suspicious I don't understand. Oh, what do you suspect? Do you think she and May are still planning a move? Isn't that quite unusual? And maybe she doesn't want to come any closer. Maybe they're in front of us both now. And they've laid traps for you in Wuchan. And are lying in wait for us. Well, that's not. Where are the bodyguards got to? Nobody else has taken their place. Huh? Perhaps they're following us at a distance. Go to. Go back and look. Check all around. Wherever they are. Whatever it takes. Make sure that you track them down. Yes, sir. Don't worry too much. We have to keep moving forward. If we have to make it through this time, we'll be very lucky. Huh. All right, be careful. Pay attention. Fine. <laughs> Open it. Play tricks with me. Damn your eyes. I thought the Lord had an escort. Where are they when we need them? Easy. Somebody's coming. How come? Here, here. And dang, that box you got, what's inside it? Why oh, don't you see? Jules is not lying. You're straight. And so am I. I tell you, there's nothing in the box. Impossible. Checked it before I took it. Okay. Open up the box. Then you'll understand. Tough, eh? Huh? How did you know it had been changed? I know it well. I know it backwards. The jewels belong to Chin Han Mei now. Ah. Huh. A little bitch. Double crosses. I could kill on my bare hands. Master, 
I gotta go after those jewels. You wanna go after them too? All right. Fenton, where are the jewels I asked you to take? My lord, you make a mistake. There aren't jewels, they're only rocks. If you really intended to go after those jewels, then you're a fool. There's no need for you to accuse me without just cause. Tell me, what do you do now? Nobody double-crosses me, or he dies. You better start telling the truth, or your life ain't worth a penny. Come on. Listen. If anyone moves, you'll be the first to die. Come on, you can try me. Try me. Hold it. Kovacin, <laughs> how much money you get paid to betray? First shot too. You can stop masquerading as the Lord how long. The court sent me to bring you in alive to stand trial. Sharpe, I think we must move fast. They're fighting again. If Jinhan May reaches the valley, we're gonna be too late. All right, let's go. I'm placing you under arrest. Walking into a trap. Never mind. At least I can find out what it is they're after.
in you, Fang. You came all the way up here just to catch up with the murderer. But if you'd cooperate with me, I'll catch Chai Fei for you and let you take revenge. Miss T, I'm not worried about getting revenge now. Hmm. What do you want from me, then? I'd like to prove something. That one person is responsible for all the crime going on here. Then you, Fei, who put you up to such a trick? I feel bad for you. And me. Don't talk to him. Let's get rid of him now, before he causes more trouble. Hmm. Lin Yufei, I'm going to give you an hour. Go back and think it over. Join up with me, and it'll go well for you. Will you really let me go? Hmm. Surely you realize I'll take the chance to kill you. I always keep my promises. I don't go back. Mister, how's it going now? Hunter, Chow has brought up some extra forces. We're all surrounded. Mister, what are we going to do now? We have to come to a decision. Seems to me they've made up their minds. They want to get rid of us. Right now, we'll have to be a bit more patient. Don't rush into anything foolish. At least then we have a chance. Charles trying to trick us. Wants us to separate. We aren't going to be fooled by him. If the man shows his face, he's going to be dead for certain. God damn it. He was stupid as low as that. Lin Yu Fang, it's useless of you to try to hide from me. Go easy on yourself. Come out with your hands off. Mister, let me go take a look what's happened. Lin Sir, don't be a fool. You stay here. Uh, my friend, going in here is hardly very pleasant. Listen. The whole lot of us are in danger now. We're surrounded, if you're prepared to trust me. I'm sure I can find a way out of here easy enough. Ah, my friend, what is your idea then? Come on, tell us. I better tell you the truth. I'm a police inspector from Wu Chen. I get to meet the famous chief of detectives, Inspector Wang Chen-Jie. I knew about what my wishing was, to bring someone in. I figured it was the bandit. Hmm? Chi Chen-Jien is also a regular customer of this town. Now he's set up shop here. I think I'll move soon, too. Inspector, have you found out where he is? Yes, I have. Well, where is he? He's at the hotel. Oh. <laughs> Why didn't we have that information before? Why have we had to wait till now? Because he disguised himself brilliantly. Uh, well, who is the one then? The owner of the hotel, Mr. Xiao. Oh. No wonder Chang Chen wanted to tell her where the blue diamonds are going to be delivered to. I'll make a deal with you. You help me get Chi Chin Fei and lock him up. And I'll forget all about your crimes in Wu Chan. Or else, we'll all be goners. Uh. Oh. Here. No, no, no. All right. Inspector, we're willing to cooperate with you in capturing Chi Jin Fei, but uh, you have to keep your promise to us. Of course, I will. You bastard! Let's see how long you can hang on for. Dad, only Lin didn't come for the jewel. What do you know from that? That he's the only expert among them. Oh, <laughs> 
Agent Fay, you'd better surrender. You still got time to change your mind. Mr. Lin, who the hell are you really? A detective from Wu Chen.
So you tore in on this for yourselves. You bastard. I reckon you want to get yourself killed. Brother, let's get rid of him. Now, I admit it. All right. I'll go with you to the court. I'll stand trial. Chichen Fei, that's wise of you to give up. I see you're no fool. Coco Chin, thank you. The jewelry you are after is in a horse in the valley. Inspector, thank you for your help. My job is over. And now, uh, many things to do, but it won't take long. Mm. Bye-bye. Inspector, what happened? What exploded? I think it must be Chichen Fei. He put some explosives into the jewels. He intended to kill us all. That's over. Villagers in the area can enjoy peace for a change. How's Coltu? Never mind. He's okay. Go first. Fine. Inspector, is our agreement still on? Of course. I'll wipe your slate clean on the file in Wu Chen. But I hope from now on you'll find a better way to live. Don't worry. I'll stick with the good guys. Goodbye. Good luck.
about it. King.请坐。大人驾到，未曾远迎，请多多恕罪。嗯，坐。哎，请问刘公公他老人家身体可好啊？好。自从武宗继位以来，刘公公专以风花雪月来迎合他的意思，由此可见，京都方面已经没有太大的障碍。是的，刘公公洪府七天，登基继位，旦夕可行啊。只是，兵部主事王守仁这个匹夫，一再在武宗面前上书直谏，多少总是个麻烦。武宗会听他的？当然不会。日前已将他停让五十，辄为贵州龙场一城，往龙场去，地区荒凉，人烟断绝。我们何不在路上就把他？这一点刘公公早就料到了，可惜晚了一步，王守仁居然在中途投江死了。哦，那刘瑾专权，密谋叛乱，五建军被折。为保身报国计，假意投江。现在已经由钱塘方面逃入福建境内，隐居武夷山中。而今而后，凡武广盛派英豪，仍需以中军除奸为治，主力移驻临江，由同兵指挥。王守仁书。各位，请这么说，王大人的绝命师和随江漂浮的衣冠，都是故意的安排，来掩饰奸人耳目的。嗯，诺大的钱塘江，浮尸未曾发现。倒也不足为虑。不过他手下那帮广盛派的叛敌乱党，反而日渐嚣张。最近在临江一带，火药的甚是厉害。曹大人的意思是，临江县虽然不属于桂堂的职责范围，但是桂堂眼线密布，谅爷不致疏忽。况且刘公公对桂堂栽培深厚，期望颇高啊。是的，请大人转呈刘公公，就说消除临江县乱党一事，紫金堂一力承担。嗯，很好。不过据我所知，广盛派向来神出鬼没，而且个个都是武林高手。沙堂主，你可要小心行事。嗯，曹大人，请放心，沙某行事。一向谨慎，绝不会打草惊蛇。至于临阵对敌，紫金堂属下门徒也都非泛泛之辈，连欢刀圣明在外，将无敌手。
不利呢？难道还怕我偷招吗？谁不知道你是家传名刀，用不着偷。既然不怕人偷，为什么老选这些荒野的地方来练功呢？唯有这些地方才跟我相配，孤独、荒野，不受人注意。全紫金堂的弟子，在你风头最贱，你还说？那是过去的事了。过去、目前、往后，在我爹眼里，你都是顶尖。少了一条胳膊，分量究竟不同。就因为少了一条胳膊，痛。老朋友又怎么样？就算，就算你是我爹的女婿，人家也会说我爹不应该偏心你的。回来了，大臣又是你的差事。我们紫金堂既然承担了这使命，就得出奇制胜，保持我们光辉的荣誉。童贯，他是在临江县生长，这件差事我交给他去办，该是驾轻就熟的。你们有什么意见吗？没有。凤凰，嗯，你反对？不，爹是一堂之主，有什么事当然由您来做主。不过，紫金堂的门徒，不只是童诗歌一个人。师傅，所谓手心手背，都是你的肉。像这种立功的机会，为什么不让我们大家分享一份呢？嗯，既然如此，我让你们公平争取。哎你用那把钢刀也可以。就要走了，你要是再不把话说明白，我可不让你睡觉。你要我说什么？你到底什么时候娶我？娶你容易，可惜养你麻烦。你是嫌我太爱讲话，不够文静？是我自己没有耐性。难道你对银翠就有这份耐性？这么多年，你还是忘不了他。
小时候的朋友，多少有点怀念。怪不得你要找机会到临江县去，原来你是假公济私。我临来以前，爹交给我的半块玉钱。那另外的一半呢？在谁的手里？不知道。哼，我猜那一半一定是在银翠的手里。说不定你爹早已经替你跟银翠定过亲了。不会的，定亲是喜事。爹把东西交给我的时候，脸上没有一丝笑容。虽然当时没有说什么。我明白，爹的心里是沉痛的。那，你这次回去，就是要看看你爹？嗯，顺便看看他老人家，主要，当然还是要办公室。那么，如果遇见银翠呢？儿女私情，我一向看得很淡，何况，分别多年，人世沧桑，他也不知道变成什么样子。翠早，早。这是今儿早起我们家的老母鸡下的新鲜蛋，我捡了十个，送来给大娘吃的。谢谢你了。又不是给你吃的。哦。你爹要的斧头也打好了，你带回去吧。啊、哦。哎呀，好重啊。又不是给你用的。<笑>这么早起来了，大娘早，早，娘，银翠给你送鸡蛋来了，啊，回去替我谢谢你爹吧。好的，大娘，我走了啊。跟你说过不止一次了，不准你跟银翠在一块儿。哎，银翠不是个坏姑娘。妹妹又说她坏。呃，是的，娘。天底下想不到的事情多得很。就拿娘的眼睛来说吧，娘也不是一生下来就瞎的。这么一个孩子，赵丽，我应该顺着你一点儿。娘关心我，我知道。啊，你知道就好了。听娘的话没有错，咱们临江县年轻的姑娘多得很，你何必找这个麻烦？是的，娘。潼关说不定哪天就会回来。要是他知道
兴风作乱，到处残害官差，无法无天，为肃清叛逆、消灭败类，特此通告全县百姓：凡有通风报信者，赏银十两；如敢窝藏，定斩不论。通风报信，赏银十两，那一天报他十个吗？十个吗？十个吗？哎，一百两吧、啊。对了，对了。一百两不就发财了吗？妈，你干什么？少胡说八道的！小心点，县衙里听见了，把你抓了去。抓我干嘛？我又不是乱党。哎，这个年头啊，黑白难分，谁是不是乱党，谁也没在头上写字啊。要是给县衙里听见了，把你抓了去，硬要你交出十个来，你上哪交去？啊？交不出啊，给你五十大板，弄得不好啊，哼，连你小命都给送喽。自古无道，国家兴亡是匹夫有责，因此上，男儿要立志是尽忠保国，无奈是奸臣当道把忠良陷害，岳家军出现阵是南州凯歌。有金牌十二道，即如星火，莫须有是罪名，无话可说。瓜皮肉受苦刑，忠良同仁罪可叹。忠良将士命丧风波，风波亭上雪又狂，风又大，天愁地惨。鬼哭神嚎中魂渺渺，父子归天无有话说。诸君，听到此处，不必伤心落泪。常言说得好，路遥知马力，日久见人机。君不见，青史上中间有别一笔不错。岳无穆，精忠保国，流芳千古。那秦桧，万年一凑，他是通番卖国。好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好各位乡亲，多多帮忙啊！哈哈，哎，多多帮忙，多多帮忙，哎，谢谢，谢谢，谢谢。呃，这一位，多多帮忙啊！哎，谢谢，谢谢，哎，谢谢，谢谢，哈哈，哎，啊，谢谢，谢谢，哈哈，哎哎。好脸熟的，哎，老板娘啊，他就是同这药铺的邵掌柜的呀。哦，怪不得呢。人说女大十八变，现在的男人呢也越变越阴森了。可惜呀、啊，少了一条胳膊。<笑>壮士，你老黄啊，你不认识我了，我是童贯。哦，少少掌柜的，你可回来了。哎，铺子里买卖怎么不干了、啊？
，我爹呢？他好吗？哎，邵掌柜的，日落西山，你回来的晚了一步了。多久的事情？快两年了。老掌柜的一向和蔼可亲，与世无争。哎，没想到他也会碰上这种劫数。是谁干的？不清楚。等我发现的时候，老掌柜的已经不能说话了。他致命的伤口在什么地方？在在在胸口上，刀伤还是剑伤？嗯，不不不，是是镖伤。邵掌柜的，邵掌柜的，哎，哎，这个是插在老掌柜的身上的。知马力，日久见人心。君不见，青山。
你这是什么意思？没什么，我是想请你把这些铜钱开口。开口？那不是成了杀人暗器了吗？你也是个暗器，你做不做？小店只做农具，不做杀人的东西。那你打的不是剑吗？想见吗？冰儿，你在跟谁说话呀？娘，不相干。是个迷路的。林翠，你把什么给砸了？大叔，我是童贯。嗯，听说你回来了。哎，里边坐吧。好。银翠怎么不记得我了？你们都长大了，初次见面难免有点生疏。回来，你爹坟前有没有烧过纸、祭过香啊？我正是为这件事情来找您。家父平白无故被人残害，您总该知道点前因后果。我不清楚，自你投奔紫金堂以后，我们很少来往了。为什么？道不同，不相为谋。事情吗？啊，没什么，没什么。童贯回来了，你应该开心才是。你也知道他回来了。紫金堂的高手，童家药铺的邵掌柜的，谁不认识？今儿早上他来过你家了。哎。你们两个从小在一起，玩过泥，爬过树，扮过娘子。拜过堂，这次重新见面，应该是认真的了。不，你弄错了，他是来找我爹的。我没弄错，你爹不点头，童家的花轿怎么来抬？这个媳妇儿又怎么进得了门呢？小兵哥，你，你捎个信儿给他，他要是真想娶你，就安安分分的在临江县待着。若想依仗紫金堂在此为非作歹，我随时会要他的命。小兵哥
是你。哎，是的。你来干什么？我，我来求你。既然把我忘了，还有什么好求的？我求你。离开此地，为什么？有人要杀你，我不能不告诉你。那么说，你倒是挺关心我的，还是心疼他？我一来就听说你跟铁匠铺的少掌柜很要好，你说，你心里究竟向着我，还是向着他？文清，我向着你。论义，我向着他。好一个深明大义的女子！难道你就不能深明大义？我只知道父亲的嘱咐，师傅的恩待。你的师傅不是神，你爹的嘱咐也不是圣旨。紫金堂到底是做什么事？你心里应该明白。你是在教训我？不，我只是希望你不要为虎作伥。官人饭碗受人管，没有办法。难道你就不能改头换面，做点别的？染缸里泡久了，再漂也是黑的。嗯、看来我们之间真的是道不同，不相为谋了。这样也好，免得我拖泥带水的，心里老是牵挂。还没睡、啊，嗯，三更半夜的，你又上哪儿去了？我心里烦，随便走走。听说最近外边乱得很，你要小心点啊。我知道。别以为自己会点武功就不在乎。当初我要是知道你偷偷的去练武，说什么我也不准你去。娘，我是为了防身才练武。防身。有时候会武的比不会武的更容易招祸。就拿佟掌柜的来说吧，当初要不是他，啊，呃，哥去了不少日子，怎么连点消息都没有呢？广胜派的首领并不是泛泛之辈，佟贯这次奉的使命，擒贼先擒王，所以棋逢敌手，难免要费点周折。你为什么不多派几个人跟童诗哥一起去呢？哎，人多嘴杂，反而误事啊。可是，好汉架不住人多。爹，我倒替童诗哥担心了。哼，你放心，他是我们紫金堂的高手。
坐下，慢慢讲。要说到广顺派这些乱党，我们县里可多着呢。就连老掌柜的被害，八成也是他们下的手啊。妈，你以前不是说过乱党的事不能乱讲的吗？哎，邵掌柜可不同啊。邵掌柜的是紫金堂的人物，势力要比衙门还大呢。邵、嗯、掌柜的。就因为你是紫金堂的人物，他们杀了老掌柜的，不就等于杀了你的威风吗？白大娘，我们邵掌柜的脾气不大好，你可不要乱说啊！哼，笑话，谁不知道我白大娘有一句说一句，有名的心直口快。再说，我又不拿邵掌柜的银子。说吧，他们是谁？邵掌柜的，银子我可不一定要，就冲着老掌柜的，我也不能不说。到底是谁？名字嘛，我可说不上来。反正，自从老掌柜出事那天起，此地就突然出现了好些生面孔的人。哎，我还看见他们在万花楼喝过酒呢。哎，来，来，啊，哎。哎哎，再给我炒几个菜，哎、啊，来两壶酒，哎好,好，这个菜不错，哎，这个来好了，哈哈，一定不会错。爷，邵<笑>掌柜的，人不清，土清，再怎么样，我花酒布总是向着你的。那你为什么不肯说呢？哎呀，你可千万别听大娘胡扯呀！他这个人呢，是专爱造谣生事的。<笑>闯荡江湖的朋友离不开茶楼饭馆，我就不相信你这店里没来过陌生可疑的人。<笑>话是不错呀，每逢有客船到埠，上我们这儿来喝酒的客人可真不少，生的有，熟的也有。可是他们哪个头上也没刻着字啊！<笑>你叫我说谁好呢？<笑>你放心吧，以后我只要一发现有什么稀奇古怪的人，我一定会去告诉你的啊。<笑>老板娘、啊，我倒想起一件事情，挺奇怪的呀。什么事啊？自从邵掌柜的一来啊，常在咱们这儿说书的那个人就没露过面啊。哎还没来、啊，老陈今天也该到了呀。最近童贯活跃的很厉害，不会出什么事吧？没事，这小子跟了我一天，害得我绕了老大的圈子，怎么都甩不掉他。本来我想把他干掉，想了想，还是把他带回来了。对，这小子受了童贯的收买，知道的不少，赶快招出来。
童贯究竟知道多少？他预备怎么对付我们？呃呃，大姨饶命了，我我我什么都不知道的。呸！你当我们什么人呢、啊？呸！算了，还是等头来了再解决吧。久等。呃，九江河安静方面的情形怎么样？哦，紧得很，到处贴满了告示，向我们示威。呃，有的县份受到了刘景的收买，和紫金堂的压迫，胡乱抓人，残害良民。哼，这批丧心病狂的奸党，总有一天会倒下去的。大明朝。有的是千千万万的老百姓，他们早晚都会站起来的，同心合力保国除奸。哦，对了，童少侠，这里正有一个奸党，等候你来处理。哦，小兵哥，小胖子，小兵哥，原来你是他们的头啊！我求求你饶了我吧，我实在不是奸党啊。我不过得了童贯一锭银子，他说要我在河边等那个说书的，我足足等了三天三夜，才把他等到的。他说要我盯住他，我就盯住他，别的我什么都不知道了。现在，你什么都明白了。奶奶，他说，慢着。小胖子，假如我饶了你一命，你回去怎么说？问你的嘴。小兵哥，你放心，我一定堵住嘴的，我就跟哑巴一样，一句话也不说。我知道你是好人呢、啊。少侠，这种小人怎么能信得过他呢？就因为他是小人，不忍杀他。何况，童贯找的是我，早晚我也得会一会他。小胖子，小胖子，少掌柜，你等一下，快说，是谁给你的银子？是谁给你的？小兵哥，胡说！他怎么会给你银子呢？他，他把我说出来，他就是广盛派的头。
掌柜的，<笑>你可来了，今儿个要喝点什么？喝人血！哎呀，伙计，哎，算账！啊啊，我来算。
的店，大概是找童冠拼命去了。啊，童冠，他他回来了，他早回来了，快，带我去见他。哦。没事了，你去睡吧。啊，邵掌柜的，你也早点去休息吧。抓药还是来杀你？
你把它拼起来。哦。这两半玉钱，是你们的父亲特地留下，日后你们兄弟见面的凭证。娘，你从来没告诉过我，我还有个哥哥，我也从来没听说过，我有个兄弟。那时候你们都还小，大人的苦衷，就算是告诉了你们，你们也不会明白的。尤其是冠儿，你父亲对你用尽良苦，期望至深。他送你入紫禁堂，并不是出于他本意，完全是受了杀金的逼迫。你是说我师父？嗯。表面上他们是好朋友，其实骨子里，他们两人志向不同。当他知道，杀金受了奸人的收买。要扩充紫禁堂，他虽一再劝解，沙金非但不听，反而恨在心里，差一点反目成仇。当时爹为什么不跟他拼了？哎，苦在你父亲的武功差他一着，而且他知道沙金的为人毒辣，一旦成仇，不但自身难保。连冠儿的性命也不会留下。他为了保全一切，不惜被人唾骂，不惜把自己的亲骨肉送进火坑。你说的可是真话？哎，我挨苦受难到今天，就是因为受了你父亲的嘱咐。他要我，在你长大学成之后，把真相告诉你。他送你入紫禁堂，不是为非作歹，要你另树一起，以眼还眼，以你学的连环刀法对付紫禁堂，消灭奸党。不，不可能的。你，你还是不相信呢？你们父子的性格，倒真是一样。也该相信了吧，娘。冠儿，虽然你不是我亲生的，但是多少年来，我一直把你放在心上。是的，娘，我相信。好。江方面盛传县令尚思恭悬梁自尽，广胜派气势嚣张，已经到了杀不尽、斩不绝的地步。沙堂主，曹大人，我不知道你个人有什么看法。我想，等两天看看。要是童贯再不回来，我沙靖亲自出马。哼，只怕等你出马。为时已晚，曹大人的意思是，紫金堂属下弟子是否人人可靠？万一童贯叛变，与乱党勾结，哼，谅他不敢。
后我娘的生活还托你照顾了。哎，你们放心的去吧，一切由我了。娘，嗯，我们去了。你们去吧，唐大哥，你等一等。师弟，你，童童师哥，我我这辈子对对你有愧。范师弟，事隔多时，不要再提了。不，不是我妒忌你，是在师傅。要我这样做的。是你杀的吗？不，是仇刚杀的。那也是你爹的命令。不，你不能再回去了。爹已经对你发生怀疑了，他不会放过你的。我也不会放过他。向师傅交差，二来讨回血债，为民除害。
要脸子样好。你亲亲的女儿刀杀，可见得你的手段毒辣。
就是我的三副仇人。哼，想当年你父亲输给我就是这一招，他突然改变态度，命你来此学艺，我不得不防备着他点。哼，今天你休想活命！这只右手，本想为国除害的，没想到却报了复仇。啊啊